Hello, my name is Marion. I'm from the blog Miss Mustard Seed, and I recently did an upholstery series on how to upholster a French style chair, which is very similar to this except it had arms. And I didn't show though how to reinforce the back. If you just have an open frame like this, what do you do with it to keep it, um, to make it so it's supportive for people actually sitting on it? Uh, so for a chair like this, the first piece I'm gonna put in is the fabric that I want to be seen from behind. So the frame is actually gonna frame out this fabric and this would be the first step. So I'm gonna go ahead and staple this on. As I said in the upholstery series, I like to work in a north, south, east, west pattern. So I put my staple up at the top first, which is north in case you didn't figure that one out. And now I'm gonna put one down here. And then side to side. And this just makes sure that I have enough fabric all around. So all that this chair had was a little piece of foam, and this would probably be okay, uh, but I really would like to give the chair a little bit more support just in case somebody, you know, I don't know, they're wrestling and somebody puts an elbow through it. I'm thinking about my boys in particular um, who have a tendency to get a little rough and break things. So I'm going to use upholstery webbing to give the back of the chair a little bit more support. And you can buy this from anywhere you can get upholstery supplies. You can get it from a lot of fabric stores. You can find it on Amazon. So this is really easy to find. And I buy it in these big rolls. And I'm going to start by putting one piece straight down the middle and I'm going to staple it in place into the frame. I'm going to trim this here so it doesn't get in my way when I'm putting the fabric on top. And then I'm just going to pull it down tight. Now there are webbing stretchers that you can use. Um, I would use that if I'm using webbing for a seat, but I don't need the tension to be too tight with this. I just want it to be snug so I can pull it tight enough. Okay, and I've got that nice and tight. And I'm gonna trim off the excess. I shared these shears in the last video, but these are awesome for upholstery because they have short little blades that you can fit into tight areas and you can get pretty close to the staple line with them. And also they're spring loaded, so they're a little bit easier on your hands. And when you're working on upholstery, like it's tough on your hands. Okay, so we're just gonna do a single piece. Now, if this was a wider back, I would maybe, you know, maybe I will just go ahead and reinforce it. I'll go ahead and do another row on either side, just for a little bit more support. It might be overkill with this chair, but. Okay, so I've cut this piece so that it follows the curve of the chair. I have three rows of upholstery webbing, and as I said, for a chair like this, it might be a little bit of overkill, but you know, it works for me. You would definitely want to do three rows on a wider back. And they're a little uneven, and that's okay because nobody's ever going to see it 
except for you guys who watch the video and whoever takes the chair apart like down the road they'll see it but I'm not worried about it and then I'm going to put a few going horizontal and I'm gonna weave them so this first one I'm gonna put under the middle and staple it to the frame and you want to watch as you're putting these staples in that you're not going through um, the fabric that it's actually going into the wood I actually did shoot uh, a staple into the fabric down here I'm going to do the opposite with this next one. We've got Christy in the studio too. She's working on a chair. She's sweeping, if you hear that. Um, okay, so as you can see, I'm just weaving that through. And what this does is it just creates this really nice sort of tight support for the back. There you have it, it's nice, a nice snug back, so it's much more supportive, and also it prevents the fabric from being punched through accidentally, which could happen in my household. Um, so then I'm just gonna add the foam on. This was the foam that came on the chair. If it didn't have foam at all, you can just buy a piece of foam. I'd say this is probably, uh, this is maybe a two inch thick, piece. well no, not two inch, maybe an inch and a half thick piece. It's been compressed a little bit from being in the chair for so long. And then I'm going to add the top piece of fabric on, which is right here. Staple that into place and then this will be done.